Hello everyone, welcome to my blog. I'll come up with a fancy name for it, you know, one day. Or if you have a fancy name that you think um, that will help me out, comment below. Uh, but uh, today I had a meeting, of course you know I'm the academic dean here at my school. And today I had a meeting and something was told to me today that I've heard before, but it really resonated uh, today. And I wanted to share that with you in hopes that um, you could glean something from it as well. So, um, as a classroom teacher, of course, we have to differentiate instruction because all of our students, or as we call them here at Oxen Hill Middle School, our kings and queens, all of our kings and queens don't learn the same way. And so I started to look at instruction in a different lens, in a different way. So, of course, we also have educators who also learn a different way and are on different levels of their content knowledge, their pedagogy, their classroom management, all of these things. And so I started to look at principalship and being an administrator as still being in the classroom. But my classroom is made up of educators and parents. And so I wanted to share that with you for those ed uh, administrators or those who are aspire to be administrators. Teaching and learning doesn't stop. Although we're not putting up bulletin boards, we're still grading papers. We're still doing informal observations. So, and so remember, um, to differentiate that instruction or differentiate the ways that we interact with our, with our students, with our kings and queens, who for us is our teachers and our parents. And so I just wanted to encourage you today, um, and I'm sure that your boss or your superior is also being um, using that same differentiation uh, with you because we all have things that we can build upon but remember their strengths and remember their weaknesses and remember you too have strengths and you too have weaknesses thank you